How's it going everybody? David Hedge here, House Hedge Gaming, and today we're looking at a game from BoardGameTables.com that has you scaling mountains, collecting victory points, and see who is truly the king of the mountain and who is the bad one in Mountain Goats by BoardGameTables.com. So let's take a look at the game and see how it's played. Alright, let's set up and play this small, petite little game called Mountain Goats. And oh my lord, this board is insanely big. I would not think that this small box would contain this kind of a player board, but you know what? It was a pleasant surprise. So the way the game sets up, it's very easy. You build your mountain, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Little numbers on the bottom of the cards here. Let me show you to help you lay them out. One's on the top, two, and so on and so forth. And the black solid numbers will be the tops. Those are the top of the mountains. You have goats of your color that will start the bottom of the mountain. And you have bonus tiles, which we'll go over in just a minute. Finally, you have four dice that you will roll on your turn. Speaking of, let's see how we climb up this mountain and score some points. See, the objective for the game is to score the most points. Very simple. You do that by scaling up the mountain collecting a point tile and scooting yourself back down the mountain. So on your turn, you will use these four dice and you will roll and you will use the combination of dice to help your goats move up the mountain. So for example, this is the yellow mountain goats the player's turn. So I rolled two fives and two twos. So I have a couple of options. So I can use these two fives to move my goat up two spaces for yellow on the five track, or I can do it for two sevens, or I can do a seven and a five. Once a player has decided what combination of dice they would like to use on their root move, then it's the next player's turn. So let's go with the green player, roll the dice, and yeah, this is about how I usually roll dice anyway. All right, so I can use these for an eight, and this for a five. And the goats will keep moving up as such, and you can have multiple goats on the same space. However, when it gets to the top of the mountain, only one goat can stay there. Now, to score a point from the top of the mountain, you have to roll that number again. So let's say it's the yellow goat's turn. Again, my luck, that didn't happen, so I'm gonna roll again. You know what, I'm just gonna rig it because this is how I usually roll anyway. All right, so let's say the yellow mountain goat rolled a seven. They will claim a point token from the top of the mountain, and then they will slide on back down and start all over again. Now, there are numbers five through 10. Each time you complete a set of five through 10 that you have collected, you get a bonus token. When you have a complete set, you take the top bonus token, put it into your collection, and then the next one is revealed. Play will continue for this game until one of two conditions are met. Either all of the bonus tokens have been taken or three of the stacks from the top of the mountain are completely depleted of their scoring tokens. Now, as you can see, five and six have the most. Nine and 10, you start getting a little bit more scarce on the points. Once those two options have been fulfilled, either three of these spaces are empty or all the bonus tokens have been used up, the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. And that is simple, easy, a great way to start off a game night, and that is Mountain Goats by BoardGameTables.com. Well, there you have it. That is Mountain Goats from BoardGameTables.com. It is a quick game, an easy game, a fun game to start off a game night. And it's compact in such a small box, yet the board, it's its a big mountain. <laughs> it's basically that. It's a big mountain that you need to climb over and over again, score a bunch of points. And trust me, it's a die rolling game, so I'm going to end up losing this game a lot. Because the dice don't always roll in my favor, but it does for my wife, Cindy. And trust me, uh, it is something else to just keep watching her going up the mountain over and over again, scoring the points, sliding down while I'm still stuck because the dice will not pair up the way I want them to. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and let everybody know that House Hedge Gaming is here for all of your gaming needs. So until next time, guys, stay safe.
and take care.